Hi, welcome to day 26. My name is Hayley Marks, and today is a full body, and we're going to be focusing mostly on our strength. And we're going to start with our upper body and then working our way down to a lower body and then an abs finisher at the end. So we'll get started with some shoulder raises. So get a weight that you feel comfortable to do shoulder raises with for 40 seconds for two sets, and then we'll be moving on to our next arm move. So let's get started. I've got my fives uh, with me at the moment, so we'll get started in three seconds. Let's go. So I just wanted to do a warm up set. And today we're gonna to be focusing on our strength, our tempo, and our mind muscle connection. So what that means is I want you to be feeling a connection with your muscles. So every time you raise, feeling your shoulders. You should be having a nice little bend in the arm. And your eccentric moves, um, which should also be very controlled as well. Five more seconds. We do have longer rest periods today. We've got 20 second rest, which he starts now. I'm going to be moving up to my seven kilos. And we'll be working on some progressive overload as well. So if that's for you, you can move up to the next weight, go for it. If that's staying where you're at and improving your mind-muscle connection and your tempo and your form, stay there. We'll be starting now. Now we're doing two rounds of each exercise, so one, two, very fast paced. Workout, we'll be hitting the full body too. Come on, last one, you've got it. Great work, have a rest. Our next move will be biceps. We can do supinated curls, which means palms up. One, two, you can alternate, we can go together, okay? So grab a weight that will be suitable for that. Be similar to your shoulder raise weight. Let's get going. I'm so proud of you for showing up for yourself today. 15 minutes full body. We'll get you stronger. Halfway through. Focus on your tempo. One, two, power back up. One, two, release. Power straight back up. One, two. Five more seconds. One more, last one, you've got it. Great work, have a rest. Shake out your hands. So after this, there'll be two more upper body moves and then we'll be lower, going to our lower body moves just to mentally prepare you for what's going on today. Grab your weights again. Let's get going. Last one for the biceps. Don't forget to breathe. Make that mind muscle connection for your biceps so when you pull up, if you do need to go to alternating or drop down weights, do so. Ten more seconds. Control the release. Last one. Great work. We'll be grabbing a similar weight or a slightly heavier one for a tricep overhead extension. You can use two lighter weights, or if you prefer, you can do dips or tricep kickbacks. But we're going to be activating the tricep in this move. Let's go. <clears throat> Again, same tempo. One, two, push. One, two, push. Really want you to feel that stretch in your tricep before you push.
I hope you've picked a challenging weight. Last one. Great, rest. Hello. This is Hugo, everybody. He likes to pop in. Hey. <sighs> do you wanna do a workout too? Hey, we'll go for a walk later, hey? Right, rest is over in three seconds. Grab your weight. Let's go. One, two, push. One, two, push. Halfway, come on, you've got it. Really feel that stretch in your tricep. Hope you're making that mind muscle connection. Last one. Great work. I was really feeling the burn in that. <laughs> so our next move will be an alternating front raise, side raise, okay? So be working on your coordination and stability. Do you wanna come in, Hugo, come on. So we'll get started, or if you that's too much for you, just go two front and two to side, okay? The last upper body move before we move down to legs. You're doing great. Ten more seconds. Last one. Great work. Rest up, oh, shake it out. It's our last upper body move before we move to lower body, so I want you to give it everything into this. You should be feeling a nice bicep, shoulder, tricep pump going on. Oh, all right, we'll start again in five, three, two, one, let's roll. Let's go. Halfway. I do want a controlled eccentric moves too from you. And keep in mind of your tempo. Five. Last one, you've got it. Great work. Next we'll be doing a squat of your choice. So you can do a goblet squat, body weight squat, single leg squat, two rounds, up to you. I'm gonna do a one-sided weight squat, which will look like this. Let's start away right away. Give your glutes a good squeeze on when you get up. Holding a 15 kilo weight, which is like a toddler really. <laughs> Except toddlers are a lot softer. <sighs> 10. Last one. Great work. Shake it out. If you can up your weight, if you are using a weight, if you're going body weight. Mindful of your tempo and give your glute a good squeeze. Have a drink. Whew. Alrighty, let's get into it. Let's go. Three, 
three. Last one, two, one. Great work. Now we're gonna be doing some isolation work as well. So we're doing a circuit of front, lateral, back. If you just wanna do back and forwards or just a lateral, up to you, but we're doing an isolation on our lunges. Needs more space actually. Front, lateral, reverse. Just on a single leg. This is gonna help your functionality, mobility, strength, training. Let's move your cardio, I guess. Five more seconds. Take your time, really get into a nice sweat last one. Now you can either do the same leg again, or you can swap sides. I'm gonna swap sides. So we can start in 10, shake it out. Let's go. Front, lateral, reverse. Front, lateral. Just get yourself into a nice little rhythm. You can float your leg back, float it. If you lose your balance, go into the middle and tap in. Before you go. 15 seconds left of this round. Make sure you get a nice stabilized leg. Go as low as you can in your lateral lunge. One more second. Done. Swap it back to the other side. You're doing great. Grab some water, have a stretch. You got 10 seconds to go. So one more round of each of these and we'll go for an ab finish, okay? Front, lateral, yes. If you wanted to add a weight, you are welcome to. Probably best to hold it on your back, I think, or in your hands, up to you. Five more seconds. Embrace the burn. Great work. Last leg before we go into just a standing abs, your choice. Have a drink. Side tap it if you need to. Let's go. Ten more seconds, great work. <sighs> Rest up, have a water. We're gonna be moving on to the ab abs. Now we all know I like an oblique crunch. So you can do an oblique crunch. We can do just a simple elbow to knee. Walk, twist over, elbow to knee, or an extended crunch. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna do three per side, and then stop it over. It's your last minute of the workout, so make it your own. Where you get your mind-muscle connection, where you get your strength from, push yourself. I'm 
I'm going to say, guys. Last one, you've got it. Oh, had to even it out. Well done, you just made it through your 15 minute full body. If you have an extra 15 minutes, go for it, do another round. Come back to this one again, by all means. Oh, I hope you have a really great day. If you do need to do a cool down stretch, stretch out what you need to. Oh, and I'll see you later on for, for day 27, 26, 27. Oh, I'm clearly about out of breath for that. So thank you so much for showing up. If you do enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe or share with a friend. And please comment what you found tricky, what you found hard, or what was your favorite move. And I'll try and incorporate them again for next month's moves. Have a wonderful day.